Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back for another video and today we are going to be looking at a lot. We're going to be looking at a lot. We got a lot of things going on. Uh, we are on this around a Monday evening and we have a message here as well that uh, we have unfortunately uh, a passing which is very very sad. So condolences there um, as Reeler, his item will no longer be in packs which is good. Obviously, that's the right thing to do. Um, we've had this happen over the years. Rest in peace. It's bigger than Foot in FIFA. So, obviously, nothing even needs to be touched upon here anymore regarding FIFA. Rest in peace. Um, and we also just had the Ballon uh, finish where Messi edged Lewandowski. I think it was by 30 points, um, which for me, either this year uh, was a totally worthy uh, candidate. I think Lewandowski had like 64 goals in this year with uh, like 10 assists. Messi had 47 and I think 20 assists. Messi won the Copa. You know, Bayern didn't get it done in the Champions League and Poland didn't do it in the Euro. So I think either one for me was deserving. They both had outstanding years and uh, I definitely just appreciate the ability to watch both of those guys play uh, the sport that we love. Uh, also don't really love the Ballon anymore just due to the fact that a guy like Jorginho is getting third, but it is what it is, man. We, that, what does third place really mean? But yeah, for me, that was questionable. But I think it's because of the finish that he had with Italy and uh, with Chelsea. Obviously, both played insane and won both major competitions this year. Anyways, let's get into it. We got a lot of stuff to discuss. Number one, uh, unfortunately, there has been a very, very large mess up. And this mess up has happened where people have been uh, relisting their UCL live cards. We've just gotten a bunch of upgrades on the road to the finals. And I was just uh, sharing this with a viewer on Twitter. And yeah, so people were relisting these cards. I think they had upgraded the stats on a lot of these road to the finals. And uh, people, got, people got destroyed coin wise, which is sad. It really sucks. There's nothing that is going to happen. There's no compensation, unfortunately. But yeah, this is very sad because a guy like Rodrigo is selling for 400k. And because they updated the rating, when people relisted him, he's now, you know, obviously getting relisted at a lower price range. I think they've gone ahead and fixed it now, but I saw everywhere Graven Birch was getting relisted. Now it's back to 15k. So they've messed up the range like 20 times. So if you have a road to the knockout card, do not upgrade or sorry, do not relist these cards because they're going to go way undervalued. Really sad, but Gravenberch has a nice little upgrade there. Uh, he's up to an 84 now. Vidal, I think, uh, got a plus one, because obviously I can see the pace upgrade now. He's got 77 pace, so he got a plus one. He's up to an 86. They will get further upgrades. I believe they'll get the double upgrade, some of these guys, when the competition is over. Uh, the the, the uh, group stage games, Rodrigo with the plus two. Very nice looking card as well. Didn't really love him initially because of the meaty medium, but... Nice upgrade there. Uh, obviously, 15,000 coin price range. So, you know, you guys, it's it's kind of questionable for sure. Uh, Sane has an 89 now. Still with the two-star weak foot, but getting uh, a little bit more well-rounded. If you guys have Bernardo Silva, GG if you guys did this card. Um, not, I don't think, a major upgrade. Uh, I can't really tell. I don't remember what Bernardo Silva had with shooting and pace before. I'm not sure if this was a major upgrade, but maybe it is. I, I feel like he only got plus one in the pace category, but I but I could be wrong. Um, let me see what his 86 has. Yeah, so he only got plus one pace. He might have got plus two shooting. I'm not too sure there. Uh, I think Robertson may have gotten an upgrade. No, nah, I don't think Robertson got an upgrade. He did it. Uh, and Timo Werner got an upgrade. So we got a couple early upgrades. Don't relist these cards. Their price ranges are screwed. But yes, we've got the first upgrades coming out with the UCL. Obviously a little bit interesting. Um, and then I'm sure if you try to go onto the market right now, I, I would assume some of these guys are, are probably snipeable uh, for 15K, but I'm, but I'm not too sure. I think, I think some of these guys might actually be snipeable uh, if people are relisting. I, I kind of want to see if I can see one of these for the sake of the video, um, but this is just cruel. Unfortunately, guys, there's nothing... There's nothing that EA is going to do about it. Um, they're not really a company that's going to compensate uh, a small group of people. Okay, well, that's not the that's not the blue that we're trying to snipe. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I just want to see if we can see, if we can try to get one of these on the on the filter. But if we can't, we can't. Um, I I more feel bad 
for the guys that are kind of hopping onto their transfer list and just clicking the relist button. I mean, every day as a person who plays this game, uh, I know I do it almost every day where I hop on and I click relist all the time. Um, so to a person, you know, that's doing that tonight, I I, I, I do feel really bad for them. Um, that's just uh, that's just brutal. That is just brutal. Um, anyways, we're heading towards the end of the promo today, guys, the Signature Stars promo. And EA are now doing lightning rounds tonight. So basically what had happened was there was this pack in the code. It's called the Black Friday pack. And we were kind of supposed to get that. I don't know why we didn't get it. Uh, it's not been released. It's going to be a pack, I think, that was going to guarantee you, uh, I think, a consumable or two, a rare player or two. And then you were going to get either a once to watch, a rose to the knockout, a rule breaker. We never got it. So there was kind of people waiting for that today. And people were also, oh, one of three, 83 plus pick. Earn one of three. Is this new? One of three gold rate, rare gold players rated 83 or higher. I think this is new. I have no idea. So I don't think this is really over yet. Uh, it's interesting, man. We we kind of lost the Flash SBCs this morning. And now we're getting more content. So it's very confusing with what's going on right now. Uh, but yeah, theoretically, this promo is going till tomorrow. And then it's done. And then we'll talk about what promo is next. Um, and we just have so much to discuss today. Because I want to talk about a couple market things. I know a lot of you guys are looking at some of these newer players and trying to figure out you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna use them, uh, if you're gonna buy them, if you're gonna use them in your team, all that. So I want to look at that. The only issue is, guys, that our club is quite mudded uh, right now. I did have some leftover packs that I had opened up on my phone, so we have a couple extra players. We've been sending, guys. We've been absolutely sending uh, the packs this week on Twitch. We have been going crazy. So we don't really have too much left over in the club, uh, unfortunately, which is gonna make my life a little bit harder uh, trying to go ahead and complete these SBCs. But I'm sure I'll be successful. I'm sure I'll be all right doing this. Um, and to all you guys that are getting triggered by me putting in League One rares, uh, stay triggered, guys, because I am uh, I am trying to do this nice and efficiently so we don't have to spend a millennium on this video trying to get this SBC done, which is uh, the objective here. And uh, I'm going to keep focusing on doing this and not talking about what I wanted to talk about because uh, I will get this done quicker if I focus on this. Okay, boom. So we've got it done. 83 plus player pick for an 82 squad. We'll see if it's worth it. The one of 284 plus was really good to me. Let's see how this one is. So we got Sergio Ramos. For me, that's worth it. Now, if he's tradable, he's not tradable. Okay, because the one of 284 plus was tradable and this was crazy bad for the market. It killed the market. Got Sergio Ramos. I think for me, an 82 squad is what? 10K without an inform? Ramos is, uh, you know, I think 25K at least. So that was worth it. Um, and for any of you guys that are kind of late grinders and, and wondering if there's anything real quick in SBCs that I like, it's the 75 plus player pick, okay? I really do recommend doing this SBC, guys. If you're looking for something to grind, um, I like this one a lot. This one is uh, this one is super cheap. It's 4,000 coins, guys. It's really good. I know that the 8187 came out and that's 1,000 coins cheaper. Just do this one. It doesn't limit your high rated player. I got some really nice fodder out of here today. I did not actually get like anything crazy life-changing, but I got a lot of fodder that I was able to put into other upgrades and get some other crazy stuff, which you guys will see tomorrow because we got some crazy packs. We missed it today. Our luck changed. Everything changed today. You guys can watch the VOD as well. It's on Twitch, but we'll have the re-upload. We'll have some uh, some crazy packs going up tomorrow for you guys. Um, but yeah, so EA is running lightning rounds now. And basically what had happened, guys, was that we had this crazy panic buy today because people were like, hey, you know what? There's not a lot of supply. There's no lightning rounds. This promo looks over, right? Urente got panic bought all the way up to 630, guys. 630K. Yeah, people paid that. And this morning he was 470. And now he's dropping again. Uh, he's at 500,000 coins. Now, I think I think these signature stars cards are going to go up a lot. I really do. I think they're going to do very well out of packs. I think they're very rare. I think they're very in demand. But now with the supply and, you know, a lot of the main player base, which is Europe and, uh, you know, that part of the world logging off because it's getting more into the night we're probably gonna have some really cheap looking prices tonight with some of these cards so if you want to pick up any of these guys tonight i think tonight might be a good time to pick them up i really do i think this could be a good time for you guys to get in with these i think uh a couple of these guys are going to do really well out of packs and i had a little theory that i think there's a chance that the cheap signature stars or i keep calling that signings i think these ones might go up a little bit i asked uh my viewers today we right now have Jelson Martins, uh, Chiellini, and we have Benzema, and they all require signature stars, and these cards are holding price pretty well. Usually when cards are holding price at, at a value uh, for a long period of time or, or like an extended period of time, they go up in price. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see some of these guys going up a couple thousand coins. I haven't bought any yet. 
But if you want to play it a little bit safer rather than just buying the cheap ones, because let's be honest, these guys are, you know, they're a little bit harder to link. They were like discard right away. If you want to play it a little bit safer, you could go with Witzel, uh, Jimenez. Those guys might go up a couple thousand. That's just a little bit of a, a theory. I don't know if it's going to happen, but you could go for it if you want. Um, but yeah, the panic buy we had earlier today was just out of this world. We saw a tall. He went all the way up to 170K. And I was like, guys, do not buy this card. He's going to drop later. And uh, I think he's back down again. He's kind of holding price now, but a little bit more supply tonight. And he's a lot cheaper than he was, you know, two hours ago. People were panic buying him at 160K. So he's back down at 145, which, you know, I think he'll lull around that price tonight. But they should do well out of packs tomorrow. Uh, a couple of these guys. I like some of the more rare ones. I think Ruben Diaz is really interesting. Um, for me, at least. I, I love Ruben Diaz. I might actually try to snipe one right now at like 260. Uh, let's see if we can get on bid because I, I love this guy under 260. I think he's got a lot of demand. Um, I'm definitely looking at him to, to rise a little bit. Let's see if we can get one for 260. We'll try it out. Oh, there was a bid right there. No. Go to the compare price. You know what, though? He's kind of dropping right now. We've got some supply. So I might be buying in a little bit early here. He might go a little bit lower, guys, um, to be honest. He's, he's not really holding price right now. He's dropping. And then I bought a Urente, guys. So Urente was 630. Uh, and I bought one at 516. So I got a little bit screwed tonight because he went all the way up to 630 and he was holding price at 530. I got a great price for your rent a bit at 516. And now he's 495. So it shows you at the end of the day who really runs the market. It's EA, man. EA run this market, man. They they own this stuff, man. Um, because they they have the last say at the end of the day. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try and see if Ruben Diaz rises. I think he's super rare. Prem center back. Try to pick up two. Um, we don't have as many coins, guys, because we sent the upgrade. So we're no longer uh, a 10 million coin air on foot anymore. We're like, we got like seven or eight. So we got to try to keep working and grinding. And we're going to try to do that with you guys. I'll show you guys, you know, a couple of reads and stuff that we like. But um, let me see the rest of this promo team real quick, guys. And kind of talk about a couple of these guys. I Maybe mean, we could take a look at them. So De Bruyne has been holding price. I mean, he's just, he's a guy that, this is a top tier card. This guy's not going to be impacted by the supply tonight. You know, he might have another buy window where he drops a little bit more. Um, and that's just great for anybody that wanted to pick him up. I think he's going to hold price for, for, a, for a decent chunk of time. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've got good guys in this team, man. We've got Diego Carlos. I think he's going to do pretty well uh, out of packs. But again, these guys are dropping downwards right now, guys. So all these guys are just kind of dropping down. And that's because, you know, right now we have supply. We have supply from lightning rounds. We've got that going on, right? So that's going to keep these guys low in price uh, tonight for sure, guys. It's definitely going to keep them down, uh, in, in at least in my books uh, tonight. But We'll see how those guys do. They go out of packs tomorrow. Um, they probably will be a sell at some point tomorrow afternoon, maybe tomorrow night, because Wednesday we got a new team of the week. And uh, yeah, so the market has been responding really well. Again, guys, this weekend, while a lot of you guys did do upgrade packs and my club is ble bleeding, a lot of people uh, got richer this weekend through the lightning rounds, right? And what that means is that, you know, a lot of people were waiting to buy teams. A lot of these cards went up. Um, this Friday, it looks like we are going to have team of the group stage. There was an updated card design. Uh, that was posted a couple of them and so this friday is going to be team of the group stage and it looks like we're not really going to have any time off promos coming up because we've got team of the group stage on friday next friday we're going to have i think foot freeze with prime icons and icon swaps so there's a lot of stuff going on um then really shortly after that you know we've got two weeks of freeze then we've got team of the year and then we've got headliners somewhere mixed in with all that so Pretty crazy time to be alive on foot. It's going to keep rolling out. I hope EA do more of these Flash SPCs that we've had recently. They've been awesome. Um, but here's the car design for the team of the group stage. You've got the uh, the Europa League and the Conference League there as well. So we should have some pretty boosted cards on Friday. Um, and team of the group stage is always just such a fun promo. We've always got some crazy boosts coming in. Um, we'll do a little bit more of a video on team of the group stage at some point this week, kind of looking at it and comparing last year's and talking about what to expect because there are some pretty crazy SPCs with team of the group stage. And... This is around the time of the year where we do get the party bag. So that should all kind of should kind of all happen soon. I think for me at the top of my head, I think team of the group stage players that will definitely get it is Lewandowski and Kunku. Uh, I think Ronaldo will get one. Um, there's a bunch. I'm missing out on a bunch. But those are three right now that for me, I think we'll definitely get um, team of the group stage cards. I wonder if there's uh yeah, we're, we're going to this guy says uh, what Mars, Diaby, Kane, um, so yeah, guys, we will maybe even Mbappe. We'll have a lot of players coming in uh, this weekend. We also had best of team of the weeks that are doing very well. So the first set of best of team of the weeks are doing very well out of packs. Vini is a, like a, a very unique example, guys. 
because Vinny was 200k in the panic. He rolls so much, though, especially because of Benzema. I couldn't get that out. Especially because of Benzema. So he's got that link to Benzema. That's why he went up so much. He's a little bit more of an exception. But a lot of those players in the first team did really well out of packs already. And it's only been like two or three days. Now, Dale Hernandez also went up because he links to the Chiellini SBC. So that's, again, a link, a little bit of a link SBC. Um, but yeah, those guys did really well. And I don't see why the team two wouldn't do well um out of packs you know as well i think that they're going to be dipping again right now because of the supply again i was buying kimmich last night at 55 he went up to 65 today i bet he's down oh no he's holding price wow okay so he's holding price so these guys you know they're gonna do well they're, they're doing they're right now even doing well um even with the supply tonight so that's a, that is a good sign Mane, i think was 510 in the panic earlier he's back to 510 518 520 so yeah these guys are already up up and away they probably will continue to go up, guys. I don't really see a world where these cards just wouldn't go up. And I think Team 1 will also go up. I think we'll have a really stable market to any of you guys, you know, looking at buying players. I think we're going to have a really stable market for a couple days, guys. I just don't see a way where it's not going to be a super stable market. It has to happen. Um, then Wednesday, new Team of the Week. Thursday, we'll probably see the market go up. And then I think Thursday afternoon is when we will start to see a little bit of panic start to set in because Team of the Group stage is coming, guys. And I think that... Uh, Thursday afternoon is kind of when I, I will personally expect some people to start selling some teams and uh, a little bit of that to start happening. And, and that will definitely cause a little bit of panic. Anytime we have uncertainty in the market is kind of when we do see the market uh, start to dip a little bit. So I would definitely, definitely expect that, guys. Um, I think that will 100% happen. Um, but yeah, this Black Friday overall was crazy with content. Um, it was nonstop. It was almost a little bit too much. Um, it was pretty crazy pretty crazy i mean there was just so much going on it was one of those weekends where you kind of couldn't get off with everything that was going on with the sbcs and i thought they did a really good job and i always kind of segue this back to fifa 20 because in fifa 20 there was a time where we had like 24 flash sbcs only in a day and there was no, there was like three packs that were better than like 20k packs so i thought that side of things was uh was a really was a really 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 good look man with, with those and i think with any of you guys that are looking at these top tier cards I mean, my biggest shock is that the top tier cards were down a bit, but we've got such a different year with the market compared to previous years because, you know, in previous years, post Black Friday, I told you guys the number one card that I like going to Black Friday is Icons. You guys saw me. If you watched my crash video last week, I saw Blanc for 550, all right? Now this guy is 700. So these are always, these mid-tier Icons are always the guys that do the best after Black Friday just because they're everybody's kind of building different teams. They're Lincoln players. These guys always do the best after black friday these mid-tier icons it's no longer a time where these top tier icons do as well and i think it's because of the rollout where now ea is kind of doing uh this thing where we've got these prime icons coming out uh pretty damn soon so i think that because of that you know it's limiting a lot of people from buying this 90 hole it limiting some people from buying that r9 because they know that these prime icons are coming out and i think that's definitely a really big deal you know with the market nowadays so um yeah i think that's all we got to talk about tonight guys um i think i don't know if i covered it yesterday but make sure real quick guys just as we're signing off here you know win two more games by the end of the week if you i have to at least but do this if you guys can that's a, there's a lot of packs in here so definitely get on to that if you can and uh other than that i think that's probably about it guys i think um you know that's where we're left i mean i think it's, it's interesting and we'll probably get a couple more sbcs in the morning or overnight with the way that ea is doing it so maybe we will get that black friday pack tomorrow i don't know but uh yeah until then guys signing off see you later thanks for watching another video peace